easy, boy. You got a long way to go. Looking for your gun, you won't find it. It was Pagoni's idea. He told me you'd wake up shooting. My shirt's been washed and mended. Was that Pagoni's idea, too? No, mine. The wagon, the little boy? Mine. And Pagoni's your husband? My husband is dead. So that leaves me wondering why I'm not. You almost were when we found you. Your horse was dead and his body was stiff. You must have been there an awfully long time. You going to talk to him, Cap, or do I? Mister, will you come over here? We'd like to have your name. Banner. Ned Banner. I guess the woman, Ellen, I guess she told you how we found you. Yeah, she told me. You mind saying just how you drew that bullet? I mean, your horse dead, you shot up and all? You gotta understand how it is, mister. See, we got women and children to think about. Maybe whoever shot you, maybe they might get a notion to come looking for you. Finish the job. We're waiting, Yankee. I was traveling west. Where to? Where are you going? Bishop's Valley. Never heard of it. Well, that's funny. You're heading for it. I said I never heard of it. Let him go on, Pagonis. 
When I hit that rise in the trail where you found me, I guess, I ran onto a small bunch of cattle with about a dozen hens riding herd. Oh, just about as I started wondering what a small outfit like that was doing around here, someone in the rocks put a bullet in my horse and then in me. But why? I mean, why would he do that if you wasn't doing that? I don't know, unless I was seeing something I wasn't supposed to be seeing. Well, did you see him? Did you see who shot you? Not clear enough. Mister, you must have seen something. Fancy spurs and a rifle is all I seem to remember. How come we didn't see no cattle, no tracks, nothing? Well, you know, I was just figuring to ask you that same question. What's that supposed to be? All right, all right, that's enough palavering for one night. Not by a long shot, Come on, come on, mister, I want you to sit down and look at that side. Somebody get this fellow some food. I said I ain't done talking. For God, he's, he's wounded. He hasn't eaten in days. I know he ain't eaten. I ain't got nothing against his eating. I want to hear what he has to say. Pagonis. Yankees ought to be good at talking. They're good at everything else. Raping, burning, thieving. You still fighting the war? But mostly burning. Don't make much difference what they burn. Cattle, chicken, women, kids. Just like the smell of roasting flesh. Ain't that so, Yankee? I said, ain't that so? You go to hell. Why? Don't do it, Pagonis. You'll kill him. I warned you. I warned you it was a mistake to bring him, but you wouldn't listen. You see that? He backed down. Backed down nothing. He knew he'd have killed him. I'll get you some coffee. Uh, you done all right, mister. For a moment there, you had me worried, but you done all right. Mary, bring Mr. Bannon here some food. <laughs> Sit down. Well, here you are, sir. I reckon seeing them Union colors on you is what got him all riled up. The Yankees burned his home down during the war. Oh, that happened to a lot of people, both sides. Yeah, it did it that, me among them. Only I got the wife and kid out before mine went down. Pagonis, he didn't. Hmm. That tender? No, that's not bad. That was a mean-looking wound. I never saw a gun wound like it. There was a hole the size of a silver dollar where it come out. Lucky thing you missed the bone. Here, yeah, Papa. Thanks. Now, Mary, you and your mom go on to bed. I'll be along. Mary, did you hear me? Yes, Papa. Uh, uh, Mary, I'll walk you to your wagon. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter and that young fella are fixing to get married as soon as we get settled. Well, where would that be? California. What? Uh-huh, that's where we're heading, because some of us may trail north up into Oregon. What are you doing way down here? I mean, if it's the coast you're after, you should be up on the Humboldt. We're just taking this trail, that's all. Mm, what trail? There's no trail, not past Bishop's Valley. Just a series of ridges no wagon's ever been across in the desert. But there is a trail, good trail, right, Cap? Why, sure there is, all the way through. No high passes, just good green land once we get beyond this here one dry stretch. Who told you this? Why, I did. Now, how's the patient, Mr. Judson? Eh, he's ornery, Mr. Harper. Full of talk about no trail. No trail? Oh, Mr. Bannon's obviously not been in this region too long. Wouldn't you say so, Mr. Purcell? I'd say so. Long enough to know this trail leads to Bishop's Valley, not beyond. There's nothing beyond. Bishop's Valley. Now, too many people have heard of that place, Mr. Bannon. I've heard of it. Is this something we ought to know about, Mr. Harper? That's a big pasture land, Cap, about 30 miles of it. A man there by the name of Bishop, Hardy Bishop. He lets his cattle run loose like he owns every inch of it. You'll see for yourself, we cut through it in a couple of days. Cut through it? Cut through Bishop's Valley? As far as Onion Creek, and we switch back over Shepherd's Pass. You worked there, mister? Is that it? Did you work there? Before the war. And yet you say there's no trail? Not out of that valley there isn't. Tell me, Mr. Bannon, have you been away a long time? Since the war. And someone ought to tell you. They broke that trail about a year ago. Tell them about it, Mr. Purcell. Just a year ago. Well, gentlemen, it's been a long day. Yeah, I guess I'll turn in. Let's right. all turn in. We'll get a fresh start in the morning. Hi, right, Mr. Bannon. Hey, hey. Hey. Is there anything I can do for you, Mr. Bannon? I'll talk to Cap and the others about your staying with us, at least as far as the valley. They're a little upset tonight, but I don't think it'll be much of a problem. Besides, we can use a good trail man. Good night. Let's 
stretch out by the fire. I just came to get my pillow. You made a good start. First Pagonis and then Harper. This, uh, Harper. What about him? How did he come to be with this wagon train? We gathered in Cannon City to organize our equipment for traveling west over the Humboldt. We met Harper and his friend, Purcell. They said they were traveling west themselves and asked us to join them. They said that this new trail they knew about through the valley was shorter and easier by hundreds of miles. One thing they didn't tell you. Nobody's ever cut through Hardy Bishop's land and lived to see the other side. Why should this man Bishop try to stop us? What harm could we possibly cause just by passing through? It's not a matter of harm. You'd be breaking the law, Bishop's law. Nobody does that. And I think Harper knows it. If he knew it, why would he bring us this way? I don't know. It beats me. You know a lot about this man Bishop, don't you? He's my half-brother. Oh, I see. Well, then you can talk to him for us. You owe us that much, I think. Yeah, maybe I do. But you see, if anything, I'm going to be even less welcome in that valley than you are. Eighty-four head here. Was that it, Stark? Eighty-four. It'd take a fool or a maniac to rustle cattle off of my land without some inside help. And I know a sight of both. Now, who was it? How much did he give you? I tell you, Mr. Bishop, I never seen him. I had nothing to do with it. I've got better sense than that. Sounds to me like you're selling the truth, Hardy. Well, I don't think so. Get your gear and be out of here in ten minutes. And don't come back. Chavez is coming. lost them. 84 head of cattle and you lost them? Uh, we trailed them as far as Joe Bone Canyon, but there was a lot of wind. The dust covered their tracks. Well, they weren't prime stock, Mr. Bishop. I don't care if a cow's 15 years old and three-legged if it's a Bishop cow. Nobody steals my beef and gets away with it. At least they wouldn't if I had a crew that knew its business. From now on, there'll be two men at every line cabin 24 hours a day, and one man better be awake all the time. Go on, get something to eat. Something else wrong? Well, I, uh, I don't know, sir. We, we saw a wagon train. What? That's right, sir. Heading this way. Those thieving cattle rustlers? No, sir. Couldn't be. These people hardly got enough stock to haul their gear. They're southerners for the most part. We spotted them coming out of the North Canyon. How many were there? Don't know. They got women and kids with them, though. They see you? Uh, I, I do not think so. Uh, one of them was a Yankee, a, a Union soldier. Officer, it looked like. Blue coat, gold stripe on his pants. And he was riding point, like, well, like he knew the trail. Bannon? I, I'm not sure. Bannon. We didn't see him very close. Who else would? No. He wouldn't have the guts to come back here. There was one thing Bannon had, Hardy, it was guts. But no sense. If he had any, he'd know what to expect if he came back here. Say, those wagons, Mr. Bishop, we could, uh, well, we could turn them at the ridge before they set the stock to grazing. The wagons will wait. Hardy, you ought to give it a lot of thought before you do something you'll be sorry for. I've given it thought. For four years, I've given it thought. And in case I forget to, there's a grave out there in the meadow to remind me. Billy was executed by the federal government. For fighting for what he believed in. Quantrell Raiders. Bully boys, loot and burn and kill and north and south alike made no difference to him. He was having a picnic. What's the difference? My boy is lying out there in a stinking hole and Bannon put him there. That's all over and done with, Hardy. It will be soon. Like you said, Stark, one thing Bannon had was guts. And I'm going to spill them all over the ground. This Bannon gent really killed Bishop's son? In a way, I suppose he did. 
Young Bishop, he was a bad kid almost from the time he could walk. And Hardy, <laughs> he spoiled him rotten. He was no good. No good at all. Bad enough to kill? Bad enough to kill. Somebody had to do it someday. We all knew that. All except Bishop, huh? Fanny was a Union troop commander, cavalry. Some of Quantrell's boys, Billy included, made the mistake of underestimating him. He got caught. Tried and executed the same day. Brought his body back from Leavenworth a week later. Well, then Bannon didn't kill him. Didn't help him to get away, either. Richest pasture land this side of Salt Lake. Enough water, timber, and game to last a man a lifetime. All for the taking. What'd you say? Let's take him down to that meadow camp. Camp there for a day or two and rest up before going on. What do you say? What are you waiting for? Let's take him. Yeah. <laughs> All for the taking. Is that what you said? Did I, Mr. Bannon? much of you lately. Sorry. Oh, nothing to be sorry about. Hey, how's your side? Oh, good as new, thanks. How long do you think it'll be before he pays us a visit? Ordinarily, the wagon train had never gotten this far. He must be waiting for me. Do you think Bishop knows you're with us? He knows, all right. We've been watched for the past three days. Well, when are you going to see him? Soon. A couple of things I'd like to find out first. One of them is what this Harper's really up to. <laughs> well, why does he have to be up to something? You're so suspicious, Mr. Bannon. Could be. Another thing I'd like to find out is... about you. What are you doing out here alone? Going west like everybody else with a wagon train. You're not the type anymore, and Harper is. Oh. What type am I? Suppose you tell me. My husband was killed in the war. I was left all alone with my son. So I decided to sell all my furniture, everything I had left, and head west. Then I met these people in St. Joe. I'm sorry about your husband. Thank you. Just one thing doesn't figure. You being alone all this time. Like I said, you're not the type. You're a man's woman. I just haven't figured out which man yet. Well, when you do figure it out, let me know. Wait a minute. 
I'm sorry. I just wanted to get you mad enough so you'd tell me something about Harper. Oh, I see. You've decided that I'm Harper's woman. Is that it? Well, I could do worse. Like you, for instance. Man, what a notion. Now, why didn't I think of something like that? Something like what? Staying on. What'd you say? Why, it's Harper's idea. Why go on to California, he says. Got everything we need right here. Strip this land, get the Where seat is in. He? Harper? Oh, he's up by the wagons. Pagani's wagon, I think. Talking it over with Captain. What got into him? So all I'm saying is, why go on? Now, you all want homes with free land and plenty of water and game and sun. A place to raise your kids, maybe. Or forget some sore memories. Well, what better place than this? I like well, I sure. I think he's right. Now, look, I figure it'll take you about a month to build your homes. You all have plenty of tools, and there's enough timber here to build a town. In the meantime, you can start in with your planting. Yeah, but what about California? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you can all still go on if you want. Of course, it'll mean losing a year's harvest. And there's always the Indians to worry about. Well, I like it. I like what he says. No, 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 you can't live here. You don't own this land. Well, there's plenty here for us all. Not here, there isn't. This land belongs to Hardy Bishop. He settled it, he owns it. You're mistaken, Bannon. This is government territory. Every citizen has the right to homestead. You try that, all you'll have is a pack of widows. This valley is 30 miles long. I say there's room here for all of us. Now, if Bishop doesn't think so, well, I think we can handle trouble if it comes to that. That's that makes right. sense to me. I'm for staying. Now I get it. Get what, Mr. Bannon? You never intended to cross that pass, Harper. Never intended to from the day you left St. Joe. Mr. Bannon, we promised to bring you as far as Bishop's Valley. Well, this is Bishop's Valley. Dud, bring him his horse. One thing more. When you see Bishop, tell him this is a big land. Too big for one man, really. Boys kept out of this. They know. Bannon only did what he thought was right, Hardy. He rates better than that. Not from me, Don.
Get off of my range, Bannon. I want to talk to you. Just two rounds left, Ned. Just one more to waste. Now turn around and get out of here and take that mangy bunch of squatters with you. You don't want to kill you, Ned. Get out of here before he has to. Not until we talk. We got nothing to talk about. You just got one shell left, Hardy. Are you going to use it? to me, Hardy. You're going to listen if I have to beat it into you. Stay down, Hardy. Don't make me do any more. Somebody help him up. Charlie, Fred. Take him to his room. He really belted you. Hurt much? What do you think? There's some stuff over in the bunkhouse. Ask the boys. They'll fix you up. Glad to have you back, Ned. Thanks. I gave him more of a chance than I ever gave a man before. He's still got a chance. He can get out of here before I'm on my feet again. He won't go, Hardy. Then I'll kill him. No, you won't. I know you better than that. Why? Because he's my own flesh and blood. You don't know me as well as you think. How do you know Billy was no good? He was bound to get himself killed sooner or later. Get out of here. Ned didn't kill him. You know that, too. Out, Stark. Not yet. Why don't you admit it? Ned's always been more of a son to you than Billy ever could be. You know what kind of a man he is, what principles he lives by. He'd have done the same if Billy had been his own son. Tell the boys to be ready to ride tomorrow. All of them. We'll be doing a little squatter chasing. What about Ned? 
You refusing to take orders after 20 years? Go on, tell him what I said. All right. Talk to him, Hardy. That's all he wants. Then send him away if you still want to. He'll go. But if he does, you'll be losing one of the few people in this world who ever cared a tinker's damn about you. Some mush, fresh cooked. All right. Make it two. Morning. I heard you the first time. Can we talk now, Hardy? No. It's been four years. I got a lot of things to say to you. I don't want to hear anything more about Billy. I want to close the book. Me too, Hardy. Me too. Red! Where's Stark? He's over at the barn, Mr. Bishop. Tell him we'll be riding in 20 minutes. They won't run, Hardy. They'll run. Not this bunch. I know I came in with them. Don't think I ain't been wondering about that. If you'd listen instead of flying I'll off I'll listen for 20 minutes. I'll take that, Hardy. Hungry or homeless stragglers. Call them what you want. Nothing you've said is going to keep me from running them off my land. But I told you they won't run. Will you try and understand that? You think you're going to go busting in and scare them out. Well, they've been scared by experts. The only way you're going to run them off is to put them underground. Yeah, I can do that, too even if it means killing women and kids. I didn't bring those women and kids in here. That was their own doing. No, it wasn't. It was Harper, I keep telling you. He brought them here. He stopped them here. Just sit there and you won't listen. All you can think of is how you're going to chop them up and run them off. Well, what am I supposed to think of then? Where is it different than it ever was? People coming in here, digging up my range. First an acre, then 10, then half the valley. All right, so Harper brought them in here. What are you asking of me, Ned? I'm asking to let me find out why. Oh, it's clear enough. He's after farming. Harper's no more a farmer than Charlie there. Look, I don't know what he's up to any more than you do, but it's something. It's like he was inviting trouble, like he wanted it. Why? What can he expect to do with a handful of people like that? They're a hard-headed bunch, and right now they think he's God. But he's got to have an angle, and I'm going to find it. How are you going to do it? In time. I ain't got time. Hardy, you've got nothing else but... Those cattle you ran into, you think they were that bunch of mine that were rustled? What you tell me, about 80 head, a dozen men riding herd. You think Harper's mixed up in that? I don't see how. The man who shot you, the one with the gold-plated rifle and the fancy spurs. They were the first things I looked for. No one in the wagon train had them. All right, I'll make a deal with you. We'll do it your way. Three days your way, then we do it mine. You got a deal. I'll tell Stark and Chavez. They'll work with you. Uh, anything else you want? Nothing you got. Meaning what? You got a bushwhacker with a gold-plated rifle? Oh, his kind don't stay in one place. Not for long, they don't. He's halfway to Texas. Wait here, I'll get Stark. <laughs> Ah, 
appears to me this would be about the best way for everybody. Each family section touches a stream, so there'll never be any water problems. There's both grays and timber on each section, dividing up this way. No one part of the valley seems to be any better or worse than any other part, so all we got to do is to decide who lives where. Mm -hmm. well, why don't you just number the sections on your map and then draw those numbers out of a hat? Hey, that's a good idea, Morn. I got some paper over there in my wagon. I'll get it and make it the number. Hey, Morn, what about you? You'll be settling here too, won't you? I sure will. Good. You know, I'm going to build my house facing east with a main room here, like this, to catch the morning sun. And me and Ma's bedroom over here, and Ellen and Will over here. Oh, are you moving in with the Judsons, Ellen, you and your boy? <laughs> well, I tried to talk him out of it, but you know Mr. Judson. Uh, no, I won't hear another word. Besides, the way things are shaping up, looks like that young fellow Dud's going to make off with the only one I got. <laughs> oh, now, Ma. Ma's no fool. He's got eyes. Mary and Dud yowling around here like a pair of sacked-up cats. We'll throw them both in the same sack. That'll cure them. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Now, look, when you get ready to build your own place, you let me know, Here, yeah? I'm a pretty fair country carpenter. You'll hear. <laughs> You know, Ellen, I sort of thought you'd have a hankering for the same thing. Oh? Like what? Well, like Mary, home of your own, a man. Someday, maybe. You're not happy, Ellen. I know that. I know the reason why, too. You do? Yes. You're not a child like Mary. A woman like you who's been married, there's things she needs to make her happy, things which she... Look, Mort. That's a proposal. Thanks. I'll think about it. In the meantime, I'm pretty busy. Hey, Mort. What do you suppose they want? Yeah. Anything I can do for you? You're riding by. We see you from the trees. Are you bishop's men? No, we're miners. See, we have a little mine back in the hills. We run low on tobacco. Figured to buy some off you. Well, I think I can fix them up. This way. Hey, quite a man, that Mort. No price too high in a fellow like that. You're wrong, Adam. Sometimes the price can be too high. For sale. Tobacco. You, uh, you know what you're to do? We wait for Bishop to come out to attack this train. Then my men and me, we take his ranch. When he returns, we chew up what he's got left. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have any trouble. I figure this bunch will knock off 10 or 12 before they're wiped out. Probably wound as many more. Bishop will be a sitting duck for you. For this, you agree to pay me half the cattle we get. Well? More. Look, Zorata, we made a deal. In fact... In fact, I'm wondering what is to keep me from taking all of it. After all, you're only two. We are twelve. All right, take it. Take it all. Something over 5,000 head of cattle. Only that's a lot to unload, Zerata. Where are you going to do it? Remember, you're wanted in every state and territory south of Missouri. They know you. They'll be looking for you. I have friends. Sure, sure, you have friends. Where did they pay you for the 80-odd head you rustled out of Bishop's herd last week? Oh, you know about these. What was it, Zerata? Three, four dollars a head? Six. I'll get you 20. Where? It's my business. 20, huh? Really 20, you get that. Cash. So you see, cut me out, and you're the loser. Anything else? This woman. What? This curiosity, but I think I see this woman. I doubt that. St. Louis. I think maybe St. Louis during the war. She was in Virginia during the war. She'd never been in St. Louis. Perhaps. Now, listen to me, both of you. I figure Bishop to send his roughnecks down here to try and bluff these people off. 
Which means you figure just about right. Friend of yours? Ah, you two stay here. Last thing we need is for him to recognize you. Come on, Priscilla. Howdy, Bannon. Judson. Get them around. I want them all to hear. Come on, everybody over here. Now, come over. Mr. Bannon wants to talk to you. Well, well, well. If you're here to run us off, Bannon, no such thing. I owe these people too much for that. All right, here it is. This is private land. You've all been told that, but you don't believe it. Said he wasn't trying to run us off. I'm not. I'm here to get you to leave peacefully. And what if we don't? Hardy Bishop, he has 20 men to see that you do. One way or another. Why don't you clear off, Bannon? Yeah, bring your 20. We'll show you a match for it. Wait a minute. We don't want to fight with look, these boys. Look, look, I know how you feel having to leave when you thought you had homes. If it were my land, but it's not. And I am grateful to you for saving my life. We ain't likely to make the same mistake twice. Ah, uh, what are we even listening to him for? Oh, who's listening? Maybe I can make your going easier. You can take all the game you want, at least enough to last you to California. You could probably use a few good milk cows, a couple of bulls, maybe. Start your own herd in the spring. You're low on ammunition, so we can help you out there. I'll see what we can do about flour and lard. Now, you have to cut north to make the Humboldt. It's a pretty tricky stretch, but don't worry about it. I'll trail you there myself. From there on, you're on your own. Well... That's it. Milk cows, you hear that? Well, we can start our own herd. Oh, oh, you can start all that swill if you want to, but I ain't going to. I say he's lying. Nobody's lying. Of course he's lying. Wait a minute, Harper. I'm talking to these people. Let them make up their own minds for once. Why should Bishop give you anything, Bannon? Why you? He's never given anything to anybody in his whole life. Mort, who said that we was taking anything? You don't have to decide now. Think about it. Bulls and cows, Mort. The kids ain't seen much milk. All right, go ahead. Take it. Take his deal. That's what he wants, to scare you off your land. Giving you a lot of empty promises he never intends keeping. That makes no sense. It does to me. I say Harper's right. Uh, maybe he is and maybe he ain't. Well, I don't oh, think he is. All right, now listen to me, all of you. Have I failed you yet? No. Now answer me truthfully. Did I trail you across, get you out here to this land, good land for your homes, a greater land than you ever dreamed of? Yeah, but I think that you're forgetting Mr. Bannon. Let him go on. Now, when your very lives depend on it, you begin to doubt me. Well, I mean, what am I going to say? Doubt me against Cap here, or, or maybe Judson, yes. But certainly not against his saddle trash. Yeah, that's right. You heard me, saddle trash. Now, there's one for you. Look at him. Look at his hand, just itching to go for that gun. Don't worry, he won't go for it. Not right now, he won't. He'll wait till some dark night, then he'll come sneaking in on his belly like a snake. He's wrong. Can't hold him back much longer. It'll take just one to start. All right. Back off. Back. 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 Hold your fire, man! Hold it! Hold your fire! You can't stop him! Don't anyone... 
and follow them. They'll double back and pick you off one at a time. You'll never know what hit you. Now, the first thing we have to do is get these wagons in a circle. Mr. Harper, I'd say the first thing was to give Mrs. Judson there a proper burial. Oh, you're right, Cap. Get your Bible. How is he? Bad. Can you get him back? Not on horseback. He is bleeding too much. You better go back to the ranch and get a buckboard. You stay here with Red. Where are you going? When Bishop sees that kid, I figure I got till just then to get those people out of here. Are you crazy, Ned? How close you think you will get after Red killed that woman? But Red didn't kill her. But I seen him. What you saw was Red firing, the woman falling down, but there was something else. What? The bullet hole in her back. Did you see it? It was about the size of your finger. But when they turned her over, there was a hole big enough to put your fist in. It takes a special kind of bullet to make a hole like that, and Red wasn't carrying it. It's a ripping thing, Stark. Hollow nose and split in the end. And when they hit, they expand, just flatten out. You put one in the right place, they'll blow half your guts out. But why would anyone want to shoot that woman? To make them think it was us. To fill them so full of hate and bitterness that nothing short of war would run them out of here. Them bullets. Who'd use a thing like that? I can think of a couple who might, and one who has. That bushwhacker who put one in me. <laughs> Funeral? Where's Barrett? Plenty tears? Much praying? I said, where's Barrett? With his horse. Blue shoe. Where's yours? All right, you ride. Without food? I would not do that to an animal. Get him some food. You can eat it on the way. Barrett will follow as soon as he's done with his horse. How long will it take you to get to your men? An hour. And from there to Bishop's Ranch? An hour. Hmm. Now, I don't know when Bishop is coming out. He may wait till dawn. But I have an idea when he sees the job I did in that puncher of his, it'll be tonight. And we go in, huh? When he rides out, we go in. No, you post a lookout first. Use Barrett. And you? What you do when this pot is on the fire? And don't worry about me. I'll keep the pot boiling from this end. From the looks of things, it shouldn't be too hard. They look mean enough to start their own war. Jerky. Best I could do. I'd be for small payment what I am to do. You bring this off right, me amigo. Tomorrow night, you'll have fresh beef. Buena suerte.
St. Louis. First, I think maybe it is curiosity, but then I remember. I don't know you. I don't know what you're talking about. You know. Maybe you fool these farmers, these hoppers, see. But you cannot fool Serata. I never saw you before in my life. No. But I see you during the war and that stinking dump you gin around in. See, si, but you are right about one thing. You do not see Serata. No. All you see are those officers, those fancy ranchers who come peacocking about their pockets full of silver. You and your fancy feathers. You're wrong. You're wrong. It isn't that way at all. How cruel of me to think so. You don't understand. It was in another world. <laughs> to run from me. After all, consider really. Am I so different from those officers? Please. Drop that knife. I said drop it. Turn around. You don't much care how you do it, do you? Kill them with thirst, knife them, or blast them with one of these bullets. Makes a difference? Only when you miss. A luxury I cannot afford to walk. What was it? Shoot! From the stream, sounds like. Who's down the there? Stream? Bullet. Mama! Get the boy back. back down there. Jeff, who's down there with that? Anyone? Back, buddy. Oh, buddy. No. Get you down there. Now get back in here. I said, give it to me. One more inch and I kill the boy. Your rifle, your bullets, you know what they can do. Now let him go. Boy dies. So do you.
Bishop and all that woman and kids out there. Stay with the wagons. Make them come to you. Don't let them. Don't let them. All of you. Hey, hey, it's one of them miners. Lennon, down by the stream. Tried to jump the woman. I tried to stop him. Barrett? Dead. Bannon killed him. You hear that? Oh, Bannon! Oh, yeah, he is coming. Anyone else with him? No one. He's alone. Go get him! Get him! Come on! Come on! Well, he's hurt. Oh. His arm's probably broken. Oh, well, well. It'd be a lot worse if we don't get out of here. What are you doing? We gotta get to those horses. Bishop. Bunkhouse. With Red? How is he? I take the boy. Be careful of that arm. It may be busted. Uh, it's a pretty good splint. You better fix a new one. You go with Charlie. He'll take care of Will and get you something to eat. Thanks. We tried it your way, didn't we? Now we'll try it mine. Stark, Chavez. How many men we got, Stark? Fifteen, sixteen. Where are the others? Out in the range. Saddle them up, then. Murray, Hall. No, I want Murray with me. Sam and Hall stay here with Charlie. The rest go. You said three days. Hear me? Yes, sir. Chavez, right, break out them right. rifles, them new ones. Pass them out as far as they go. All right. Look, Hardy, you said three days. You gave your word. That must mean something. Not when it cost me one of my men. So you go up there bent on killing and probably lose no, five No, a six. handful of settlers I can't take care of. But it's of. not a handful. Not anymore, it isn't. What are you talking about? You can guess. Them rustlers? You're in a war, Hardy. A bigger war than you've ever been in before. But it's not with them settlers. Yellow-livered cattlestick. So they're in this too, eh? But who you want is Harper. Why, hanged if it ain't shaping up into a pretty fair fight. Hurry him up, Stark! Look, let me go up there and tell them they have to give up Harper. No, by thunder, they're part of it. Made themselves part when they shot that boy. But that was Harper! It's the same thing. They ain't no different. You think so? Come in here, I want to show you something. If you got a yelp, boy, yelp. Bust a gut holding it in. Men don't cry. Oh? I always figured men do cry, real men. Only the greenhorns who ain't sure they're men. They're the ones that worry about it. It hurt. What is this? The boy's name is Will. That's his mother, Ellen. Take a look at him, Hardy. A good look, real close. No different from Harper and those cattle thieves. Is that what you said? They're on my land. Well, is that all you got to say? They're on my land. Your land? You talk about it like it was something holy. It is for me. When are you going to learn, Hardy? Without people, it's nothing. People are what make it oh, worth don't something. don't talk to me about people. Ain't one I'd pay a sack of sheep dung for. You don't believe that. I built my life believing it. Now get these people out of my sight and you with them. So you really mean it? You're really going to go up there and chop them up? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, then you're going to have to chop me up, too, because I'm going to be right up there with them. That suits me fine. 
Get the boys' clothes. Why do you hate us? What'd we do wrong? Will. You say Harper's the one, not these people. You say he shot Red. You can get them to turn him over to me? Knowing what I do. You can make them leave, clear off my land without no more killing. I think so. What if there is killing? Then it's your way. My way. I used to know what that was. I used to have a right clear notion. Ma'am, the boy could use some sleep. Oh, yes, yes, thanks. Real Betty slept in in a month. You go out for a while. I'll stay with him until you turn him. You don't have to do that. Well, he may want something. I just don't understand. Huh? Bishop, giving up his room like this. He seems so cruel, so rough. He's rough. So determined to hate people. Then to do a thing like this. He don't hate people, ma'am, not really. He's just afraid of loving them, that's all. You're a wise man, Charlie. No, ma'am. Just Indian. anything you can do about Harper, I mean. Maybe. Not much without some sleep, though. Good night. It was those things you heard about me back at the stream, wasn't it? Forget it. I didn't believe a word. You believed it. Why shouldn't you? Most of it was true. You don't have to admit that. Not to me. I admit it. There was a war. People did a lot of things. Oh, not the war. War made it easy. But you lost your husband. You said so yourself, your home. There was no home, and I never had a husband. It's not a very pretty picture, is it? Neither was the world I grew up in. Some people survived it. Oh, the strong ones, maybe, but I wasn't strong. I was weak. It's a funny thing about strength. I don't think it's something you're born with. I'm not even sure that it's something you can be taught. I think it's something you have to learn for yourself through a terrible hurt. The boy. Only not the way you think. I wanted that baby. More than anything else in the world, I wanted it. It was like, well, it was like the only pure thing I'd ever owned. 
the one thing in my life that was going to be clean and... <sighs> well, the story about my husband didn't always work. Sometimes there were people I'd known before. And the boy was getting old enough to be hurt by what was being said about him. That's when I got strength. Enough strength to look for a new life. Good life. Why are you telling me this? You don't know, do you? Above the corral. Where's Bishop? The barn. The others, the bunkhouse? Yeah. It'll be what they're trying to cover then. Here. Stay where you are. Barricade what you can. Now, son, you stay right here. And don't you move. Get it against the door. Yeah. Get the rifles. can't see nothing out there. It was only out there, out in the open. Well, I ain't about to wait till it's light, I can tell you. Not when they can pick me off like they did Porter. I'm with you. Let's get him. Stay where you are. Who else is with me? You can count on me. I'm warning you, we'll get two steps out that door. Warning? What are you going to do, Stark? Shoot us? Look, we'll head high, see? Across the corral. We'll try to make it to the barn. And when we draw their fire, you come out. Come on. Working over the bunkhouse, making a coffin out of it. How many you figure? Maybe a dozen. That all? 
That's all they had, unless they got some of the settlers. Yeah, sitting pretty, ain't they? Waiting for us to show ourselves and picking us off when we do. If only we could think of a way to get those boys out of the bunkhouse. You better think fast. It's going to be light in a couple. Hey, wait a minute. You got any water in here? It's barely over there. Why? Get some straw. What? Straw? What for? Wet it. Put it in the wagon. What are you going to do? Build a fire? Fire with wet straw? Best kind. Ever seen one? Sure. Smokes like the... Smokes like the devil. Come on. Still can't see nothing. Don't let it gull you, Sam. They can see you. There is four dead men to prove it. Well, it's a Mexican standoff so far. We can't get out, they can't get in. Man, if this works. Yeah, you'll never touch the stuff again. <laughs> hey, look. Something in the barn. Hanged if it ain't a light. All right, come on. me now. 
Not a chance, Bannon. They're my ticket out of here. Now, you get out there and get a couple of horses. Bring them around the back, quick. Go on, Bannon, before I... Before you what? Start throwing more lead around? I've got plenty left. I wonder. Fact is, I wonder if you've got any left. Don't press me, Bannon. I'm not pressing anything. I'm just trying to figure it. I'd be a fool to take orders from a man with an empty gun, now wouldn't I? Are you gonna get those horses? There's been a lot of shooting, Harper. You've done your share. Let's see. You shot three times at me. That leaves three. Can you remember them? You ought to be able to remember three shots. <laughs> Charlie. Ned. Ned, they found Hardy. What do you mean, found? In the barn. You better come quick. I'll take care of Charlie. Take your tamale picking paws off me. Poking around on the man's insides. Ain't nothing sacred. Ah. Well, I got him for you. Pretty, ain't he? Fancy spurs and all. Stop poking, I told you. If you really want to do something to earn your keep, go get me my whiskey. What? It is all gone. I know that's empty. Look in the feed bin. Bring me what you find there. <laughs> Charlie didn't know about that one. He talked too much. Yeah, I learned it from you. Nothing but... Oh. Nothing but talk. That's all you were ever good for. You ought to rest, Mr. Bishop. Man, what a barn burner. Ah, but we put on a show for him, didn't we? Ah, ain't it we didn't? Nothing like it since 52, right, Stark? Yes, sir. There, give me that. He's gonna die. Die? Me? Oh, wouldn't that be something to see? Hey, Bannon, we uh, heard about Bishop getting killed. We're sorry. Thanks. Where are you folks going? North, to the Humboldt, then west. Like we should have done in the first place. If we'd listened to you instead of Harper, we'd have prevented a lot of trouble. And killing him. Maybe Harper was right about one thing, though. Maybe you folks should stay in this valley, all of you. I want you to stay. After what we'd done? All you've done, any of you, is try and find a place to belong. I'd like to belong here. It's a great land. It's just land now. What it needs is people to make it great. I hope you'll stay. Folks, did you hear what Mr. Bannon said? He said he wants us to stay here. We can yeah. Come on, then. Let's take him out. She's gone. She and the boy. Where? Up north. Toward the Humboldt, I guess. Thanks. <laughs> 